Lesson number two, separation brings clarity. Mm. That was lesson oh, number two. Yes. <laughs> separation yes. brings yes. Okay. clarity. Can you say that again? Yes. Yes. Separation <laughs> brings clarity. Yes. Yes. Right. At the beginning of the year, I was reading this book uh, by Van Moody. He came and he talked at our church, and the title of the book was how building great relationships and ending bad ones unlocks your God-given Ooh, purpose. Say that. And at the beginning of the year, I prayed, God, send me the people in my life that are going to help me unlock my God-given purpose and take the people out of my life that are not going to help me get there. Yep. And me and my friend, we have we have this running joke, like, be careful what you pray for because right. you might get it. And mm -hmm. in 2017, he started stripping everything. I'm talking about a relationship of 10 years, friends that I clung to, that they were, you know, my friends. And um, what I realized is that you have to choose yourself and God and your purpose and Absolutely. what you want, sometimes again. over your own wants and your own desires. And the valuable insight that I learned, anytime there's separation and there's clarity, there's a certain type of person that comes to the surface. Well, there's certain type of people that start showing themselves. Uh -huh. yeah. um, these people are called haters. <laughs> and um, Hater. the one insight that I learned is that haters are like sandpaper, mm -hmm. right? So anytime you come up against opposition that means you're doing something right exactly and they're rubbing up against you because we're diamonds and right. we right. all need to shine bright right yeah. and so in 2018 um shine bright yes like yeah. not everything shine. that you do